Hello, we are going to salt that other header pins onto the amplifier skin. The main thing here is to make sure that the components are on the underside. You need to use two eight-way male headers and the short lengths go into the skin. The long end of the header pins go into the breadboard. This will help you solder them on. Put the header pins into the breadboard but not all the way and then put the skin on top. Make sure that the components are facing down and you can see the snake on the top. Make sure that the short end of the header pins are the ones that you're soldering in. Solder in the corners first. Once you have the corners soldered, you can check that it's straight and you can take it out to check it further. To solder the rest of the pins, you can take the whole thing out of the breadboard. Okay, once it's done it should look like this. The components are on the bottom and the long part of the header pins sticks out the bottom. You can check that it goes nicely into the breadboard. You now have to solder on the three-way header pin. It goes in the same direction as the others, but in the middle. Put it in like this. There should be two blank holes either side of the three-way header pin. Solder it in as you did the other pins. This is what it should look like with all of the header pins soldered in. You now have to solder the microphone and the speaker. They go on the top side, the top side with the snake. Take the microphone first. Notice that the holes are slightly towards one side. When you put it into the skin, the white circle on the skin should be around the outside of the microphone. Push the microphone firmly down so that the pins stick out the other side. Then turn it over and solder the pins. There's just two of them.
Okay, you now want to solder in the speaker. It needs to go on the top, like this. And you need to solder the wires in to these two holes just here. It doesn't matter which way round it is, black or red. There are a few ways that you can do this. You can solder it like this and wrap the wire around or you can solder it from the other side and wrap the wire around like this. We're going to do it a third way, which I think is the neatest way, where you unravel the wires and push them all the way through the hole. Then you won't have any wires hanging and left over. Straighten the wires out and push them through the two holes. All the way through so that the speaker can sit nicely on the top of the skin. You now need to cut the wires, just so there's a little bit left on the bottom. You'll use this little bit to solder them in. You now need to strip the wires. This means to take off the plastic outer coating of the wire to leave the bare wires coming out. Strip about 3 or 4 millimeters from the end of the wire. Be careful not to pull the wires out. Take your time to get this bit correct. Peel the sticky label off the back of the speaker. This way we can stick it down on the top of the skin. When you stick it down, make sure that the two wires are pointing in the direction of the holes where they go in. So here I put the wires in and then stick it down. It should stick very well. Now solder the wires from underneath. If the wires are too long, clip them. Otherwise they may short out when you plug the skin into the pie board. Okay, so this is a finished skin. Now we will connect the audio skin to the pie board. Make sure that the white corner is lined up with the white corner on the board. And the three pins will plug into the bottom row on the pie board. It should fit in very neatly. The mounting hole should line up. Now we will also plug in the LCD skin. You can use one at a time or both of them at the same time. Make sure that the white corners again line up. and you'll also see the mounting holes line up. Both sides of the pin labels will match.